Yo guys, welcome in today's video. In today's video, we are going to have a look at Bitcoin. Uh, right now, the structure of Bitcoin is actually quite interesting. Pattern-wise, we could be forming a potential falling wedge formation. And yeah, in today's video, I want to try and answer the question whether the likelihood is um, higher for Bitcoin to break out to the upside and to see a nice rally right here or whether the likelihood is more likely to yeah, break out to the downside and I'm also going to give you a exact signal that you basically can use in order to predict uh, where the breakout is going to go to and what the potential target is going to be so guys all about that in today's video with that being said, my name is Jeroen, welcome to the blockchain today, the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos. Um, lately, uh, I haven't been uploading on a daily basis, I know that and I do get some comments from you guys about that as well. Uh, right now, in this period for me, I'm also quite busy with a lot of things, uh, seeing family, traveling, ar traveling around in Holland, um, preparing things for the marriage and so on, so... Yeah, I have my hands also slightly full, so that's the reason why I'm not uploading daily. However, this will come back. But yeah, that's also exactly the reason why it is so important for every single one of you to smash up that like button and to leave a comment down below. Um, so yeah, guys, when we have a look at Bitcoin right now, it's weekend. The weekend price action normally is not that interesting and is mostly bearish, as we have seen last weekend as well. Um, most of the time the price in the weekend moves slightly sideways or slightly downwards there is no clear direction and this is also uh, not different right now we are seeing the same thing there's no clear direction right now it's Saturday uh, what we are sometimes seeing is that on a Sunday evening uh, you could see a breakout we could see volatility coming back and then for Monday um, we are seeing a more clearer direction and yeah, right now we are seeing that lining up as well. If I'm zooming out right here, we are looking at the four hour time frame. We are seeing that Bitcoin is trading still in this rising um, channel where we have been looking at for quite some time. But right now we are touching that support of the channel. Uh, but with touching that support, we are seeing some interesting things. Uh, for example, the pattern what we are seeing right now is a potential falling wedge formation that generally is a bullish pattern the likelihood for a falling wedge formation to break out to the upside is higher than for a falling wedge formation break out to the downside now you got a lot of people actually saying yeah but what about the bear flag could could this be a bear flag there we have a downtrend we got a up yeah rising channel consolidation that's basically typically how a bear flag looks and then we get a continuational breakout to the downside and we continue that downtrend uh, is that possible? Yes, that's definitely possible uh, that we are seeing on a bigger scale a bear flag right here and that Bitcoin is looking more, bear more bearish. However, this is something I want to share with you guys. In my personal experience, when I look at bull or bear flags, most of the times these are very short patterns. These patterns are very shortly lived. So that means we have, uh, we have for example, a pump or a dump depends whether it's a bull or bear flag but let's say we have a pump we have a quick consolidation in a declining channel and then we break out back to the upside bear flag as well this already what we are seeing right here is already quite timely when we have a look at the uh, time frame and might already be too long to yeah to act as a nice clean bear flag that is my opinion it is possible that they sometimes take longer in consolidation just when we have a look at the characteristics of a bull and bear flag i think personally it's less likely for this to to yeah to play out like a bear flag uh, but yeah however it's still possible but when we are zooming in right here on bitcoin we can see that in the shorter term time frame we are forming a falling wedge formation and what we are as well seeing is that we are ending that falling wedge formation with a bullish divergence. So we have lower lows in the price, but we are making higher lows in the relative strength index. We can make an extra um, extra confirmation. So when we have a look at the MACD, we can also see that we are setting a higher lows. And we have kind of an uptrend similar as to the relative strength index. 
uh, this can be a good sign, but it can also be quite tricky. And I will explain you exactly uh, why and how you can validate or invalidate this. That is very important. But let's have a look at the previous example when Bitcoin also formed a nice bullish divergence in this time frame and within this rising channel what happened so the last time we got a bullish divergence at support was right here bitcoin dipped slightly below the support level below the support line and then we saw a nice reversal eventually we formed some form of a inverse head and shoulders pattern left shoulder right here head in the middle right shoulder right there got a nice breakout and we came almost to the top of the channel uh, we had a rally of over 30 percent if we would do something similar right now, that would bring the price of Bitcoin to roughly 50,000 US dollars. So that would be quite a rally if we are going to see something similar. Um, so how can we spot what is uh, going to happen with Bitcoin? Because it actually looks quite good. We have the price making lower lows. We are seeing momentum indicators making higher lows. But this is also, it can also be a confusing signal. Uh, due to the fact that sometimes when Bitcoin is looking bearish, we are seeing that the relative strength index and the MACD, they are retracing upwards while the price is moving sideways. And then what they basically can do, potentially can do, is the, they can create space for bearish momentum. So they are trending up right here and eventually they are breaking the support right here in the relative strength index or in the MACD and that will um, bring a new bearish momentum and that would be enough to see a breakout to the downside that that is a possibility guys um, where you have to be aware of how can you confirm this this you can confirm whenever we are breaking the uptrend in the relative strength index or breaking the uptrend in the MACD most likely that will uh, that will go together because a break of this structure will be a um, invalidation of the bullish divergence as well that we are looking at so that is very important to note but uh, of course the bullish scenario right here in my opinion is slightly higher than the bearish scenario that is due to the fact that it is always more likely for bitcoin to remain in the structure that is trading in right now which is a rising channel that is the the biggest structure that we are seeing then within that bigger structure we have a smaller structure a falling wedge formation uh, which is a bullish uh, pattern we are now at the support of that bigger rising channel uh, with with bullish divergences which is something we often want to see at the end of a falling wedge formation so definitely if i'm going to put all these signs right now together uh, in my opinion it is definitely more likely to eventually see a breakout to the upside we might get another dip in liquidity we might touch the support right here once again that is all possible uh, but pattern wise i do think that if you would have a look at the probabilities the probability of breaking out to the upside is definitely higher than seeing a breakout to the downside but to prepare yourself for a potential breakout to the downside you can have a look of course at the uptrend in the relative strength index and you can have a look at the uptrend in the macd because if we are going to lose that uptrend either in the relative strength index either in the macd then that can be a confirmation that we are going to see um yeah see a breakout to the downside then we can also have a look at another time frame at the eight hour um eight hour chart here we can already see that we got kind of a buy signal um right here we got a small rally but we didn't got that push through we didn't got that breakout out of that uh, declining resistance from that rising wedge formation but yeah pattern wise and structure wise on the momentum indicators is actually quite similar uptrend in the relative strength index most likely most likely being tested quite soon so let me um change that uptrend right here we can already see that the uh, yeah the relative strength index right here is slightly coming down. You can also you could also put it like this, and we could see a small fake out right here. I think it's more safer to use this at this as the support. Um, but yeah, so it's, it is possible for Bitcoin to test the uptrend in the relative strength index as well, and yeah to to set a higher low right here in the MACD. 
for the bullish case uh, we will need to actually if you want to play it safe for the bullish scenario you want to wait for a breakout you want to wait for a break of this declining resistance which right now is at roughly 39,000 and 39,700 right here but of course the further in time we are meeting this level the lower this level will be so that is quite interesting if we were to get a breakout to the upside then the target of this formation is the top of the wedge right here which would be at roughly 47,300 but the real massive resistance is definitely uh, at the top of the rising channel which would be at roughly 50,000 US dollars if we get a decisive breakout to the upside and we get a confirmation in the momentum indicators I definitely think it is possible for Bitcoin to um, yeah, to reach these levels within this pattern. Of course, there are some resistance levels in between as well. We got right here an important level that is at 42,000, roughly uh, slightly above that. That is going to be important right here. We got also a very important level, which is at roughly roughly 44,000 US dollars. Uh, but the target, of course, is the top of the uh, wedge which is at roughly 47,300 so that will be quite bullish guys when we have a look at will portal we can actually see that the funding rates at the moment are positive um, generally or we would like to see them turning negative especially later in that falling wedge formation before that breakout uh, due to the fact that these negative funding rates can create buying pressure on the price of Bitcoin. Most likely we want to see that, um, or most preferably we want to see that in Bitcoin collateralized contracts, but also in US dollar Tata collateralized contracts. And for the rest, things are actually looking yeah not so not, yeah not so interesting right now we got the open interest decreasing which basically means that the total amount of money that is in contracts is right now decreasing uh, most of the time when the price declines the the um, amount of contracts declines as well uh, when the price goes up we want to see that uh, metric going up the fair and greed index right now is at 20 which means that general sentiment is actually quite bearish i also see that over on social media exchange balance right now is hovering around these levels so we are not seeing a very yeah very interesting metric right now on the bitcoin exchange balance where we are seeing a trend of a lot of bitcoins being deposited to exchanges or a lot of bitcoins being withdrawn so there's not much going on i would say uh, right now the most interesting thing to watch for bitcoin is the pattern do realize it is weekend weekend most of the time is sideways or bearish price action wait for the week to start or maybe sunday night and wait for these clear confirmation signals that i have been presenting to you in today's video guys if you like today's up the upload make sure to leave a thumbs up very much appreciated if you are new right here to the channel make sure to scroll below and to subscribe hit the bell icon and if you are a trader and you don't yet have a account over on bybit famix or the prime xpt exchange you can check down below this video i have my affiliate links down there and if you sign up on one of these platforms using my affiliate link you can get a additional bonus the biggest exchange or the what i'm using basically the most is bybit for my trading you can trade there uh, with leverage but you can also trade there over on the spot market and yeah bybit is just a exchange that offers the most products uh, you can even trade uh, with leverage on the spot markets in usdt but also in usdc so they are offering multiple stable coins which is very good if you want to hedge your positions as well um Famix Exchange is, yeah, looks slightly like Bybit, only has yeah, slightly less trading pairs, but sometimes different trading pairs. And the Prime XPT platform is very nice because the Prime XPT Exchange offers different, different trading pairs, like trading the regular financial markets or trading commodities like gold and such. And if you um, sign up on the Prime XPT platform using my affiliate link down below, you can get an additional bonus up to 7,000 US dollars. This is a specific bonus they've made for subscribers of the blockchain today. So yeah, if you are interested in that, you can find all of the information and the code which you need to use in order to get that bonus 
down below. Then guys, I want to wish every single one of you a awesome day today. And I hope to see every single one of you in the next video.